Hello everybody and welcome to Dez and Fox Play. I am Fox and uh, we're going to be playing some Prey here. Uh, I've played a little bit of this game but not a whole lot and I'm really excited. We are going to be doing something a little different in this playthrough than, than, than normal. Um, we're going to put in subtitles for just the main dialogue. That's fine. Um, I want to... I'd love to be able to... Maybe we can do it in the game. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to turn off... I want tutorials, but also I want to turn off objective markers. Yeah, okay. So basically we're going to be doing no objective mar markers, which... So, from the little bit I've played about the, of this game, uh, it's very Bioshock-ish. Kind of like these levels where you gotta move around and find the next place to go. But more of like an open world type thing. Well, not, not levels, but a whole spaceship. Anyway, objective markers are gonna make it a little more difficult for us to... Like, it's gonna lead us by the hand less. We're gonna have to find where we're going using in-game in context clues and stuff like that. Different locations. And uh, from what I've read... Um, this is really the better way to play the game. It, it's kind of seems like it's designed to be played this way a little bit. Um, we're going to go with, I want normal difficulty. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with normal difficulty. We're, we'll, I don't want to do survival mode. Okay. Get to choose our main character. Uh, let's go female. Why not? I don't think it had, really has much bearing on anything, as far as I know. Oh, we're entering our apartment. Like I said, I played a tiny bit of this, but it was a long time ago. A year or two, a couple years ago, I think. I can't remember exactly when it came out. I remember very little, except for that it basically takes place in a spaceship. And it's kind of like Bioshock-ish. Alright. Come on, apartment. You can do it. Load it on up for us. Let's hope the loading screens are not all this long. It's just another loading screen. There we go. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. This is 2032. 12 years in the future. Well, 13 years in the future. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay, I've been given an objective. This is our, oh, okay, this is our inventory. Suit modification skill increases inventory. Objectives. Okay, so is that gonna go, yeah. Ooh, I like this. Because we don't know, I mean, obviously the suits are right there. Hold square to pick up multiple items. Okay. Oh, we can just pick up items. I'm gonna trash my own apartment. All right. Uh, nope. Don't need that frayed wire. OK, 
Okay, we've got three emails. Congrats and welcome. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official day is Monday, March 15th, but first we set, have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Talos 1 Research. Okay, so apparently we're new. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Saw the neuromod right away. As we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle in departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me, so there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Okay. Oh, yeah, Al that's from Alex. Alex is apparently our older brother. Excerpt from the preface to Hands-On Electrics by Antoinette so Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. All right, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of objects that are interactable. Warning, Neuromod should be administered by tr certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly after. Remove Neuromod from vacuum-sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Dispose of yours, Neuromod, in provide, provided biohazard bag. Okay, we got some plastic tubing and wires in our nightstand. Nothing in there. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex's, Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe, me, no. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Okay, I got some sparkling wine. Congrats, Morgan. Okay, so Alex is our brother. Right, I'm Morgan. Alex is a brother. Apparently, there's a he's in the newspaper. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the black and surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is ta asked to, tasked to cook. What do we got? Sky King prom pomegranate, cold mountain green tea. I'll take them. I'm going to turn off the oven before we leave. Nothing in the cabinet. Glucosist. Transglutaminase. Uh, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, bacteria. It's often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially as, by chefs as meat glue. Delicious. Sun-dried tomato jerky. Weird. All right, anything else up here? No. Let's go check. Yeah, lots of books. We're not going to read everything. Oh, we got a picture. Yeah, that's me. That's my bro that's probably my brother. Throw. What's in Oh, we got TV. Turn on the sink. Okay, can't see ourselves in the mirror. All right, that's that's enough. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put on our suit. First day on the job. Turn 
Turn off the light for sure. Got a cool fish tank right there. You can climb up on that. Um locked. Morning, Miss You. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Sure, thanks. Echelon. Can jump, L3 to splint sprint. Crouch or slide while sprinting. Nice. Alright, let's use the elevator. Can we go oh uh, we can those are the two options. Let's go to the roof. Alright, there's a helicopter. Anything around here for us to pick up? What do we got? Go. Might be a little louder now. All right, let's get on. We go to the other side. What do we do? What's our plan here? No, do we, uh, am I getting a glitch or, so or something like this? Oh, there we go. Board. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. All right. So Train now, oops, Bethesda Softworks sure presents. Look at that. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Sphere distribution. ISO. JTG. I like this music. I guess it, it, we're in San Francisco, I think. Look at that. Arcane nice Studios production. I believe Arcane also made, um, what's the, dis oh, the Dishonored series. I like how it's, we're only like 13 years in the future right now, and I think probably like 15 or 16 years in the future from when it was made. So not, they didn't make everything like crazy, ultra futuristic science-y. There's just kind of like some differences, but mostly, like, especially just really in our apartment. There were just some things that were a little more futuristic looking, but it was a good, realistic future. Pray. Nice. Here we are, Ms. Yu. So far, the glass on the way out. still wondering what the name Prey is actually referring to. Because we haven't really been prey of anything, nor have we preyed on anything. Hello, Dr. Yu. Oh, science. Oh, okay, that's pretty futuristic. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Anything? Nope, nothing hidden back here. All right, let's take the elevator. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Confirm. Morgan, finally. Hey, it's my brother. How's it going? 
Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Alrighty, we'll who's that guy? Next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Alright, bro. Uh, we got a bunch of weird random screens. I already read that. Got a button. Got a door. Hello, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, we gotta press a button. It said remove the red boxes. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, we're absolutely fine. I don't know exactly what that means. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay, so I'm supposed to hide in this room. Morgan, we can see you there. Uh, the obvious is behind that chair, but that's not going to be very good. I guess let's do it anyway. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're he seems models. disappointed. He seems disappointed by what we're doing. What well, my choice. I'm wondering, it's probably pretty on rails right now. All right. Here we go. For this test... Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, jump over and hit the button. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. I don't know if I did well. I feel like I did pretty well right there. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Planning on going to vacation? Go somewhere familiar you love or try something new? Something new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um. Angry. No one has that right. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause a train to switch tracks. 
There is one person tied to the second track. Um, we'll switch tracks. Good. Needs of the many Next. outweigh the needs of the few. We're going the Star Trek route here. Runaway train. Standing on the platform next to an enormous fat man, pushing him into the track. Um. Do, we're going to continue. There we go. Almost done. You could stop the train by jumping on the track, but you would die. Jump on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In Whoa. a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, Whoa. My coffee. It's empty. Yep, okay. Oh no. Okay, now I'm remembering these things. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh no, we've been poisoned or something. I remember now there were like these mimic creatures that kind of tur could turn into objects in the environment. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Clean it up? What does that mean? And that, also, that was Simmons. That was the Good doctor morning, we were just Morgan. talking to. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Okay. Same day as... The beginning. Got this weird sound, though. Everything looks fairly the same. Except for, wait, this is in a different spot. Yep, and all the foods in here. Okay, go pick up these supplies. Was also a in the nightstand. Might actually want those, so let's make sure we can take them. Nothing in there. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, here we go. Toggle flashlight. Hey, look, we get a wrench. It's like the first weapon you get in Bioshock. That's that's a connection. Spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay, I need to break out. <sighs> Swing wrench. Okay. Oh, here I know what we're doing. Oh, oh. This is a whole. Di okay. Interesting. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. We're in the simulation lab. Braided wires. I'm picking everything up because I feel like it'll be useful at some point. The 
marking this entire skew is defective. Investigate with fabrication. Okay. Oh, we got a... Yep, didn't think so. Okay. Yeah, very much bot like Bioshock. Whiteboard. Anything in there? Oh, oh, hey, look, those are the testing rooms. And there's one of those weird tendril creatures over there. We couldn't go anywhere in here, could we? No. Okay, let's go this way. There's the apartment. More sparkling wine, replacement props, storage area. Frayed wire. More sparkling wine. Oh. I heard a weird noise. Let's break more windows. Take that. Take that. Even break that one. What about in here? What about this? Yeah, take that. All right, we can go back out here. Whoa! All right. Some creepy sci-fi music. All right, close the door. Plastic tubing. Oh, there's a secret door right here. Can't use the emergency phone. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel. Employed R2, and then we can charge it. Okay. <laughs> Just, did it show us that because we're going to fight something, or what? Oh, safe code. Um, that's difficult. I can't really read that. It says exit. Here's an elevator. Okay, this is not working. We cannot go to the roof. Oh, look. Oh, it's a it's a elevator simulator. Okay, so that's what happened. They basically just switched out. Yep, look at that. They just switched out the... Oh, there. Look, look at it. There. I got it. Die. Yeah. Typhon organ. Let's take that. A mimic tumor. Interesting. So I'm guessing it's a Typhon. That's what they're called. Okay. Just trying to need to, okay, it's broken. Like a lot of things around here. Oh yeah, look at that, same thing. Hmm. 
Med kit. Cool. Quick select. Nope, not what I want. I want this. There we go. Um, let's put this. There's our quick select. Can we put our med, med kit in there? Email, none of these things. Suit chip set, scope chip set. Don't know what those are. Okay. I don't know how to change our... We got something. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. I'm gonna kill it. There we go. It's got nothing for me. Oh, statuses. What does that mean? Alright, it's gone. So, yeah, so they can mimic things, so we need to be very careful. Email. Note about this morning. I know the morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. Station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert, and will find any feel or and field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Doctor Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this product. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan hadn't forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. But the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was a clearly a departure. My recommendation is that we need to start charting personally drift, personality drift before future tests in debriefings and within the test itself okay uh sci hypo spare parts but i can't get those yet crumpled paper i'll take it i guess since i can I wonder, can we... Okay, it didn't break the... Transcribe, Marco Simmons. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Okay, so that was the same message that we heard before. I see two people kissing. That's what I see in this. All right. It's a lobby, skill recorder, stage B control room. So if we're not, like, we're not in that apartment building or, like, I guess we're just in that building that we flew to. When do we go to space? I thought we, I thought we were supposed to go to space. Take that, you dummies. 
Greta Mickelson has a wrench. I'll take her wrench also. Press OK to reset the simulation. Scene switching in progress. What? That's awesome. Okay, let's go with Transtar Roof. Okay, crazy. Oh, let's see, load, looking glass off. Okay, so that's specifically for the looking glass, gotcha. Um, oh. That cup is jumping around, that's, that's not, that's not good. Oh, it broke. Nothing in the trash can. Plastic tubing. Look, Transstar, something's going on here, and I want you to pay. I think, cause I'm so I'm gonna destroy all your stuff. Ooh. Are we gonna fall through? No, we're on glass. Awesome. Anything out here that's interesting? Okay, well, that's enough for me. Let's find out where we're going next. What's our current objective? We can look at this. I just like having it get to the main lobby. Oh, there were signs. Stage B direction. Yeah, okay, we're going this way to the right through this door here. Decontamination. Oh no, no, Jovan Gravilovich. Dang it. Oh, whoa, there are four. Okay. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Okay, nothing in here to pick up. Oh no. Oh, that was me breaking more glass, okay. Let's pick up another med kit. Psy Hypo, not sure what those are for yet. All right, looks like some offices. Mike Turner, Gre um, Greta Milk Milk Mickelson. She's, she died. Haven't seen the other four yet. Oh, Jovan was the one we that just died right there. That's him. Can we, uh... Oh, we can pick up his stuff. And then we can... Alright, let's put him back in his office. Just, uh, you know, just so it's a little more, uh, this is where he belongs. Nothing in the filing cabinet. Whiteboard. Email. Jovan, we'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as affected, are as follows. A, area of effect. B, copycat. C, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. 
Well, I already seen that one. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taking data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose it if someone else finds that data. From Marco Simmons. All right, so we're supposed to find... That's our new objective. Is to... Oh, it's optional. Search for Bellamy's corpse in trauma center. Okay. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become more available to you. Yeah, so I do remember that there's kind of a, like, approach it how you want to approach it like way, way to play this. Where are you? Die. There we go. This is a weird... Oh, it's like a rocket ship. We got another one? Oh, there he is. Almost ran out of stamina on that one. Alright, Alex Aiken. Simulation question. Hey, Alice... I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuro mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible to separate the changes the mod makes from the normal memory function. So if I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, I'll reset your brain back to the moment before you installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuro mods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Use are dedicated to their science is all i can say hit me up for lunch later simmons okay so my mind was affected at some point like my memory was taken all the way back to an early point so crumpled paper we'll take it if just in case it's useful caleb hawthorne's computer is locked we don't have the skill to open it though Alex Aiken and Caleb Hawthorne. Reorder tests. Lucia on observation. See Bellamy flammability test canceled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test. Okay, so even that was part of it. This is Bellamy's office. Personality. Here are the results from today's personality test i'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results this isn't this first time i'll let alex know most recent test is pasted below for reference okay so these are all of our answers at this point morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results that's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod Installation and removal. Tell me again why we're testing or extending the test indefinitely. Have my people in come to see it? Sill, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department re reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse than the psychotronic stuff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Tyus Cole. Okay, so we need to find... Hey, there's a key card. So we could use that. Can't break that. Okay, so we could use that to get through that door. Maybe... But there's... Oh! Oh, no. There it goes. Get back here, you dummy. So I think it's disguised itself. Oh, nope. It just ran past me. Oh, yeah. Look. So that's it right there. Special surprise attack on... Yeah, nice. On the disguised mimic. Okay, so I think we're going to need to... Yeah, here's... We can use the key card, but... Oh, can't... Couldn't... All right. We can get up there, though. Oh, 
Oh, we don't need to climb all the way up there. Just right here. Do it. Maintenance access panel. I'm a stealthy kind of guy, so if we can make that happen, that's what I'm going to do. Explosive canister. Let's take it with us. Alright, it did not explode when we threw it. Whoa. Whoa. That's something new. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Are we running right now or? Control panel is broken. Tutorial. We repair it if you have the repair skill and enough spare parts to repair an object. Hold down triangle until it's complete. But we don't have... Oh, look. This is a whole thing. Alright, we don't have that skill, though. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, the glue cannon. The Transar glue cannon, gelophlone lattice, lattice organism obstructor. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Ooh, that's a fun weapon. So we can use it to harden. Ooh, we got some shotgun shells right there. Okay, so it's used for lots of things. There's some more glue ammo. This is Veer Singh. 9mm bullet, shotgun shells, med kit, and more glue canisters. Just making sure we're not missing anything here. So we can definitely... Let's go up this way. Oh, we got a lot. We have several mimics up there. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neural mod you see in the display case. Normally, it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neural mods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. All right, so we need to get this Neuromod. Basically, those are like the, uh, what are the abilities called in Bioshock? The, uh, I forget what they're called, but that's essentially what they are. They give us new abilities. You need to be careful here. Because remember, these enemies can be any object that's just kind of chilling. Favorites wheel. Favorites wheel allows you to quickly select. Okay, hold that. Alright, no problem. Simple enough. Computer cart. smash it but is there any way to oh there we go neuromods and abilities the neuromod is revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities all right so we have scientist engineer and security i want to be the very best no one ever was i want to be sneaky Cry, okay, increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint. 5% faster. Repair. Yeah, let's go with repair since we can use that right now on that machine we passed. 
Oh, oh. Owie. I knew you would pick that. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Oh, we went right over this. We should go and Oh. Don't think we can Think we can figure out the code to get in there somehow. I'd love to be able to read that, but I, don't, I can't. I don't know if it says anything useful or not. All right, so let's go repair. Can we turn this off? No? Okay. Whoa! Oh, yep, yeah, I was wondering why there was another glue weapon there. I'm gonna save our glue canisters. All right, let's go repair this. Aw, oh, we don't have the parts to do so. Dang. Okay. It's alright. So now our mission... Bellamy's Corpse and Trauma Center get to the main lobby still. Oh, that's not just glass. conference room yep thought so I thought there might be one in here I did not think that that was a that that chair specifically oh we got another agave plant clippings why not Banana peel, why not? Transcribe. Robert? Alice, thank God, no one else is- Where are you? Hiding, I'm in the conference room, I, I can't- Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out, there's- What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators, someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. And that was the last we heard from Robert. Anything on this table that's useful? Our patented skill recorder safe... Oh, hey, look, it's me. Safely scans and records all the activity in your brain as you perform your special talent. This data is used to create neuromods, which can be applied to virtually any personal life today. Your contribution lives on forever in the minds of others. Interesting. So it's taking somebody else's skill and just being able to apply it to the brain of somebody else. Like, we're learning. It's like the Matrix, when basically you can just download a skill into your brain. Oh, Mother of Pearl. Okay. Still at fine health. All right, well, that's where we're going to be ending our first episode of Prey. We got a restroom we can go check out, it looks like, but also I think that's the main door we want to go through. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, very pretty, pretty intrigued by this game so far. I really like kind of the, just the logical... Whoa, I did not notice the skull. That's creepy. Uh, the logical like um, progression of the game so far. If you do this thing, then you won't be able to do this thing. And then you can climb up here and use... The, like, there's a lot of problem solving that seems to go in, involved. Especially, uh, I'm sure we'll get more of that later on. Uh, so, yeah. Come back. Watch, uh, watch as we go through uh, Prey. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.